We're going to shoot the par <laughs> paraffin bottle. <laughs> We're going to shoot a um, shampoo bottle, this one. And uh, it's it's not and uh, it's nothing fancy or anything, but this is a perfect example of matte and glossy surfaces. The label is glossy and the rest of the bottle white and gray top it's matte. So then we cannot use bare flashes because then only the matte surface will look good, not the glossy one. And this I see people struggling with a bit out there. So I wanted to do this tutorial because if you learn this thing, you can light anything almost. So let's start. Today we are in Lightroom. And when I take the first shot, I already took it actually. I have a 85 mm lens on at 5.6 aperture and 1 200 of a second. Why did I choose this? Well, this is standard 1 200 of a second. It's the maximum shutter sync speed for the flash. So I always put it up at the maximum. And then uh, I chose 5.6 because I want to have a lot of sharpness. We will do focus stacking on this, taking several images and put them together in post to have the whole bottle in focus. And uh, why do you have the 85mm lens? Because it's easier to focus stack with a film lens. So this is uh, a test I would like to do with a film lens that have bigger, you know. So black frame, there's nothing. If I pull up exposure, we are zoomed in, you see it's underexposed and there it disappears. It could be a bit more underexposed maybe, but we have all these LED lights for the video, so don't use strong LED lights when you're shooting, then you're fine, you know. And today we are shooting Tedred, you know, you go to Tedred Capture, we are in uh, Lightroom Classic, and shampoo, the name, session name, and location is fine, just okay. And then the camera will be connected. And we're using a 5D Mark IV Canon. And let's move this guy be up here. And there's something huge happening with Lightroom. Finally, Adobe added Live View in Lightroom Classic in the latest version. This is kind of huge for product and still life and food photographers, I would say. And I'll show you why it's a big thing soon. But first, let's put on our first flash, A, and we are connected with the Profoto Air remote to the Profoto D2s, and I have a zoom reflector with a honeycomb grid 10 degree, as always, and A, Flash A, is it on? So let's take a shot without me standing in front of the camera. And what do we get? I just set up, you know, it's almost tipping over here. The shampoo and I have this small from Ikea. And we have no light on the background, that's why it's black. I put up a gray one, but if you don't put any light on it, it will be black, you know. We only have light on the product and on the surface. So, and this looks kind of nice, I think. Do you see the gradient here? This, because it's uh, a matte finish on the white and the gray part, we get this super nice gradient on this side. I really would like to use this one, I think. And also a bit on this side. But, you see this glossy label? It's kind of specular highlights and you see how trashy it is. It's not a new product. There will be a lot of retouching later on, but we cannot have this kind of light on the label. Well, then, as usual, we just diffuse the light. And this is the main thing with this video. If you don't know if a surface is matte or glossy, well, take uh, some kind of light and then you hit it and then if you get blinded <laughs> in the reflection, then you know it's glossy. But when I shine on the top here, where it's a matte surface, it's just, we can even make very nice 
gradients here with this small you're just using the edge there and then you will get the nice gradient because it's matte it's super simple small light source makes all matte surfaces nice but we need to save the label the glossy label why did i place the flash here well i told you before this is the angle going up and it should be the same angle out you know bam 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 that's how i know it should be there you also can you also maybe maybe you can do it like this you take the flashlight and place it in front of the lens and point it to the product and then you take something shiny i'm holding the flashlight from the lens and shooting on the product on the on the label there and then i'd put up this and then you see so this means the light should come from here and this is where i place the flash super simple but the light looks like crap so we need some kind of diffusion and this is the thing i use savage medium translum diffusion paper and i glue it on a frame on a kapa shiva and let's place this here between the light source boom and then on the other side it hits the bottle hopefully and let's take a shot T -t -t -t. boom suddenly you know now we're done thank you for watching now you can go out there and you can make amazing photos for all your clients, you know. That's it. You see the difference before without diffusion and with diffusion. This is so important, I would say. But is it placed at the right, right spot? We have a bit darkness on this side. I mean, this looks kind of nice, a gradient from darkness to here. I don't know if you have it on this side too.